Dr. Ramsey Heatley Tricare FRSE FRS LLD, the 30th of July 1840 to the 22nd of November 1912, was a Scottish naturalist and paleontologist who became a leading expert on fossil fish. Tricare trained as a medical doctor, but his thesis was on aspects of fish anatomy. He held posts as Professor of Natural History and Professor of Zoology in England and Ireland, before returning to his native Edinburgh to take up a post at the Museum of Science and Art. He spent the rest of his career there, building up a renowned collection of fossil fish over a period of more than three decades. He published extensively on paleoichthyology, authoring many papers and a series of monographs. His studies of rocks and fossils in Scotland overturned earlier work on fossil fish, establishing new taxonomic classifications. His honours included fellowships from a range of learned societies, including the Royal Society of Edinburgh, the Royal Society of London, and the Geological Society of London. Among his awards for his work on fossil fish are the Lyle Medal and the Royal Medal. <laughs> Early life Ramsay Heatley Tricare was born on 30 July 1840 in the manse at Rind, Perthshire, Scotland. His father, Rev James Tricare, was a Church of Scotland clergyman. The family moved to 10 Duncan Strett in South Edinburgh when the elder Tricare retired soon after the birth of Ramsay, his eighth and last child. Ramsay's mother, Elizabeth, died in 1843. Preparatory school education for the young Tricare was followed by schooling at the Edinburgh Institution. From 1857, he studied medicine and later fish anatomy at Edinburgh University, graduating with his medical degree after five years in August 1862. He was presented with a gold medal for his thesis on flatfish, on the asymmetry of the pleuronectidae. The anatomists he studied and worked with at Edinburgh included John Goodsir and William Turner. Topic. Career. Tricare initially stayed on at the University of Edinburgh, working as an anatomy demonstrator in the period from 1863 to 1866. He then succeeded in obtaining a post as Professor of Natural History at the Royal Agricultural College in Cirencester. This appointment included a testimonial from T. H. Huxley, however Tricare's stay at Cirencester was brief as he felt that this post isolated him from research. Moving to Dublin, Ireland, in 1867, Tricare took up the position of Professor of Zoology at the Royal College of Science, working and teaching there for the next six years. This was a government position, with the appointment being made by the Lords of the Committee of Council on Education. One of the honours accorded him during this period was his election in 1871 to the Royal Irish Academy. On 5 June 1873 he married the artist Phoebe Anna Moss Phoebe Anna Tricare, whom he had met in Dublin. They moved to Collington Farm southwest of Edinburgh. They had three children, Ramsay 1874, Henry Harry Moss 1875, and Hilda 1879. That same year, Tricare was transferred again by the government to Edinburgh to become keeper of the natural history collections at the Museum of Science and Art later the Royal Scottish Museum. Tricare would spend the next 33 years working in Edinburgh in charge of the museum's natural history collections, building up a large collection of fossil fish. He was first to be appointed to the post of Keeper of Natural History, a position that had been created by the government to ensure that the museum collections remained independent rather than under the control of the University of Edinburgh's Professor of Natural History, Wyville Thompson. One of the locations where Tricare carried out work on fossil fish was the Gorge of Dura Den, in Fife, Scotland, and his collection from here and elsewhere was considered one of the finest in the world at the time. The deposits that he studied included the old red sandstone and the carboniferous rocks of Scotland. Fossil fish that he classified included the Paleonychidae and the Platysimidae, overturning earlier work by Louis Agassiz. Much of this work was published over a period of some 37 years as a series of monographs from the Paleontographical Society, with some parts being published posthumously. In 1881, Tricare was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of London. He was also a visiting lecturer at the Natural History Museum in London, then part of the British Museum, twice being appointed Swiney Lecturer on Geology at the British Museum Natural History for two five-year periods, from 1883 to 1887 and then again from 1896 to 1900. Tricare was also a Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh and a Fellow of the Geological Society of London. 
He was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society of Edinburgh in 1874, also serving several periods as councillor, and being a Vice President of the Society from 1904 to 1910. He was elected to the Geological Society of London in 1874. Family Tricare was married to the artist Phoebe Anna Tricare and they had two sons and a daughter, Ramsey, Henry Harry, Moss, and Hilda. He retired in 1906 and died in 1912 at the age of 72. Topic: <laughs> Awards and honours Tricare received the 1881 award from the Wollaston Fund, and in 1901 was awarded the Lyle Medal, both from the Geological Society of London. Other awards included the Triennial Neil Prize 1874 and the Biennial MacDougall Brisbane Prize 1898 both from the Royal Society of Edinburgh. Tricare was awarded an honorary LLD from Edinburgh University in 1893. In 1907 he received the Royal Medal of the Royal Society. The Royal Medal citation was, "...on the ground of his discoveries relating to fossil fishes." In 1909, Tricare's life and career was documented in the Eminent Living Geologists feature of the Geological Magazine. <laughs> Later years Tricare retired in 1906 to the Bush in the Edinburgh suburb of Collinton. He died on the 22nd of November 1912, survived by his wife and three children. Ramsey became a famous architect and Harry Moss Tricare became a distinguished ophthalmic surgeon in Edinburgh. He is buried in the graveyard at Collinton Parish Church with his grave marked by a headstone that his wife designed, carved by Pilkington Jackson. Obituaries and memorial notices and articles were published in the Glasgow Herald as well as a range of scientific journals. His wife was later buried with him, as were the ashes of his son Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Death 